sit with mommy? Okay. Look, look, we're gonna look at our list. We're in a little bit of a cranky mood, but and, you know, you can look, but you cannot touch. It. Let's look at our list of things you want to talk about. What do you think? Okay, let's see. Uh huh. Is that what you think? No. You can't touch it, but you can look at it. Do you need your pasty today? Do you want to get down and play? Scarlett, can you bring me a book? Do you think you can bring me a book? Okay, go see. Can you get me a book? Okay, guys. Welcome to a pregnancy update. We are almost halfway. That's crazy. Scarlett, we are almost halfway to meeting your little siblings. We will be 19 weeks this Saturday, which is so exciting. I'm so excited, I can't wait. Mostly for it to be over, but also just to meet the little baby. Um, Scarlett, do you think you're having a brother or a sister? A sister. Brother or sister? What do you think? So we're getting extra excited. I have to figure out when we're gonna start like Figuring out the new room situation. I think once we figure out what it is, a girl or a boy, then we'll do that. And we find out on January 25th. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And believe it or not, she is too. Just not right now. Um, hi. Hi. So I wanted to give you guys a little update. It's been a little while. So some of you guys know that with Scarlet. The nausea never really went away. So today is Thursday, and I went from a Wednesday all the way through to a Tuesday without throwing up and actually feeling pretty good. I'm not gonna say normal, but I felt pretty good. Um, yesterday was not that great. I threw up again this morning, and I just haven't been feeling that well today. But in general, Scarlett, do not touch that. Please do not touch. Thank you. Thank you. Good listening, sweetie. Good job. In general, I will say that I do feel better. Um, you want to come up? Can you say up? I do feel better, so I'm super thankful for that, and I, I really, really hope it sticks. Scarlet, where's the baby? Where's the baby? Yeah, it's in there. So we went. Okay, thank you. Um, but. So yeah, I'm really excited that I'm starting to feel better. I really hope that it continues. I'm still taking the um, Unisom B6 combination at night, which is the exact same thing as some of you have heard of. Diclegis. It's the same thing as that. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I don't really know if it's working, but I'm not gonna stop taking it. <laughs> Guys, she might not be able to be in the video, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do some bicep curls. So let's talk about working out. This is the most workout I do the whole day. I don't work out. I thought today maybe I tried, but then I didn't feel well. Then I didn't feel well. So I don't work out when I'm pregnant. I haven't worked out in 19 weeks. So, also my face is going red already. Can you see? I'm sweating. So you know you're in shape. Um, yeah, so I don't work out when I'm pregnant. Um, hopefully in a couple weeks, I'll be able to give it a shot again and just kind of walk some, we have a big set of stairs um, kind of outside, but it kind of goes down the beach and up and hopefully I'll be able to walk that uh, in a couple weeks just to see. And then food, can you send me a bump please? Send me a bump. As far as food goes, I still have to eat, like, oh, is that so fun? I still have to eat basically every hour, hour and a half, or else I can start feeling really sick, even on a good day. I just have to continue to eat. So that's like a little bit just annoying, just because I don't, I mean, nothing sounds good, and so it's hard to find something I want to eat. Right now. Usually ends up being cereal sometimes. So with Scarlet, 
So they say if you're having a girl usually you crave sweet stuff and the boy it's more like salty. But with Scarlet, I didn't want any sugar, no chocolate. I didn't have like any chocolate the whole time I was pregnant with her. And that's not true with this baby. I've been like having actually chocolate, sucking on chocolate sometimes eases my stomach. So I've been having way more chocolate than I ever did with her. Um, so that's kind of different with this pregnancy. Can you sit on your bum, please? Sit on your bum. Oh, you want to sit here? Or do you want to sit on your bum on there? Sit down. Moving on to sleep. It is starting to get a little bit harder for me to sleep. I'm just like really restless and very just uncomfortable. Can't really lie on my back much anymore. Just feels like too much and then I can't breathe. So I'm at that point. Um, I do have a snoogle that I use at night and I love that thing. Um, it's just a pregnancy pillow. But yeah, it definitely is getting a little more difficult. Not to mention someone is awake a lot. So uh, yeah, that kind of is a little sucky, but that's okay. Um, so far, it's still better than near the end of the pair. So the so baby's been moving quite a bit and Grace has been able to feel a kick too, which has been really fun. Okay, Scarlett, can you say bye-bye? Because you're going to go outside and Mommy's going to finish the video. Okay? Say bye-bye, bye. Okay, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> I love her so much, but she's exhausting and I feel like Des can even hear me. Um, so I was going to talk a little bit about like, body aches and pains and stuff because that's definitely been ongoing and starting to get much worse. So with Scarlett, I had really bad um, round ligament pain in between my legs as well. Um, under my belly and that's been starting up again too which is unfortunate but it's just part of it um, a lot of it has to do I'm sure with you know impacting pounding my body for 20 years doing gymnastics so my body's probably just kind of like oh this extra weight is really hard um, but yeah uh, so there's that my back has been really starting to bug me a lot um, so going on walk to Scarlet which is hard now that we do like every single day that's gotten a little bit more difficult too, but we're kind of pushing through and just trying to get, that's our exercise. Um, and something I did not have with Scarlet that I can remember at least you know, is headaches. I've been having a lot of headaches and like my neck's been tight too, which doesn't help with the headaches, but that has just been not very fun. And then other thing I can think of was dizziness. So I remember with her, I was super dizzy as well. And this time it's just been like, whew, I feel like it's even worse than it was in Scarlet. So that's been something that I've been dealing with as well. And as far as weight gain goes, I, so I started, when I went to my first doctor's appointment, I was 108 pounds, which is really light for me. Usually I'm around 112, um, but that was, you know, I was seven weeks. And so that first, those first seven weeks, because when I get pregnant, I feel sick like the day after we make the baby. So I'd already been feeling sick for seven weeks. So I think I just had lost weight. Um, and so I was 108 when I started, but like my actual start weight is probably more like 112. Um, and I'm up to 118. I feel like that's good for me. With Scarlet, I gained more than 35 pounds, but the doctors weren't worried about it because it was like, mostly belly. I mean, I had a little bit elsewhere, but it was definitely like baby. It wasn't like I was just growing exponentially. Um, so I feel like this one will be the same. Um, I have been eating really bad, so I'm probably going to gain more, if I'm being honest. Should I say? Thank you, my good fingers. That was thank you. I also wanted to quickly give like an emotional update, how I'm feeling. Um, I feel, I mean, obviously I'm super excited, but recently I've been having like a hard time with um, just like, I don't know if it's like appearances or what it is, but I just feel kind of gross about myself. And it's not like I've gained a bunch of weight or anything, but like when I look in the mirror, I just feel like I look so tired and like old almost. Just like having not slept for a year has like aged me. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and I'm, I'm not old at all. I'm turning 29 this year. Like, I'm not an old person by any means. And I don't really feel old, but sometimes when I look in the mirror, I just like, because I look so exhausted. And so it's just, I've been like struggling with that a little bit. Um, and obviously, all the hormones add to that as well. 
but that's been one of the harder things this time around. And Grayson's been super sweet with that whole thing too, because I've been really open about it with him, and he's always so affirming, and not just because I told him that, but he is just always so great with that, and just really thankful for him, especially in those moments, um, just for being so positive and affirming to me, and it, it really does mean a lot to me, so. Thanks, Grayson. I love you. And yeah, I mean, with this being baby number two, it's been hard to be, you know, patient and always kind and gentle with Scarlett. Um, as you guys know, she's not the easiest kid. I feel like no toddler is, but she's just, she has, she's got an attitude already and a little temper, so I've just been a little bit more um, irritable. I wasn't irritable with Scarlett at all, really. I mean, there might have been a few days, but with this baby, I've definitely been more irritable. Part of that also is getting tired um, because of Scarlett. So uh, that's the thing though that I've never really had with her. And I've definitely had some days where I'm just like grumpy. I don't know why. There's nothing I can do to like make it go away. I just have to realize that okay, really, you're being hormonal and grumpy for no reason. Like let's try and flip this around. And, uh, but yeah, some days everything just annoys me. Like Grayson annoys me, Scarlett annoys me, I annoy me food annoys me, everything, and they've done nothing wrong, but I just been like, ugh. So that's been a little different this time around, and I don't like feeling like that, but I know it's not uncommon, um, so I've been <clears throat> trying to deal with that um, and trying to be patient and have grace with Scarlett in those moments, even when I'm just annoyed at everything. Uh, so that's been a good challenge for me, and it's definitely helping me grow as a mom. Uh, as a person, but also as a mom, so um, I'm thankful for that even though it has been really hard. Well, I think that was pretty much everything I wanted to update you on. There's not too much going on right now. I'm just trying to survive a non-sleeping child and growing this one at the same time. We're so excited, cannot wait to see Scarlett as a big sister. It's going to be just so cute. She loves playing with other babies, so I'm really excited to see what she's going to do. She's going to be pretty rough, though. We have to really work on the gentle, gentle. Um, but it's really sweet to see her interact. Even with my little belly, like, I ask her where the baby is and she points. I think probably she thinks that a belly button is called a baby at this point, but it's still super cute. And then she always gets a little kiss, which is so cute. Ah, so we're just really excited for that. Dying. To find out what it is. I think I've said that in the past like six months that I'm dying to know. Um, so that's coming up really soon. Really excited for that. Trying to figure out some fun gender reveal things that we wanted to do. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time. Bye!